At the Travel Intern, we're all about quenching their thirst for an epic adventure. Even right here in Singapore, we continue to look for new adventures and hidden gems around this island. Outdoor camping is probably on the bucket list of any avid adventurer. What if I told you an epic camping experience can be done right here in Pula Ubin? Okay, what's up guys? So right now we are here at Pula Ubin. Yeah! 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 Our first overseas trip! To get here, you just have to get a ferry ride from Changi Point Ferry Terminal which operates from 7am to 7pm daily. Noise! Noise! Enough of the typical day activities in Pula Ubin, we're gonna camp here for a night. Like you actually have to get a camping permit when you come here, if you, if you wanna come here and camp. First, we have to collect a bunch of twigs and branches for the campfire. I don't really know what I'm looking for, but I'm just like trying my luck. Honestly, this place looks a bit, this looks a bit damn. Oh, there's a lot of mosquitoes! Oh, oh. Yeah! Right, so these are some of the wood we've collected. So if you guys want to try, you know, starting your own campfire and you know cooking your own food over a campfire, like you just have to make sure that it's thick and it's also dry and that it's not hollow. So it's like thick, like legit wood, you know, can you see? Yeah, look at it. Look yeah. At it. Yeah, and then adding on to that, right? There are also like like different type of wood. So like the if the small ones I think are really good for like starting a fire. Then yeah. I think you need a bigger one to maintain it. Yeah, the fire. Yeah. We are also here with Scott from Beyond Expeditions who shared some basic bushcrafting skills to get us more wood for the night. Yeah, we're trying to solve this wood. Look at it. It's so thick. I don't really know how we can actually do it. I'm actually really scared because like it's so sharp. Like uh, I love horror films but like I don't want to be so near all these weapons. Don't let me, I am not eye powering, I am doing something. Moral support! Let's go! Okay, the boss do all the work. <laughs> I never made the boss do the work! Yeah, so these are the wolves that were that we, that we chopped. Let's see, one over there, one over here, and there. Is this our that's our progress for like the whole entire afternoon? How do you feel right now? Okay, honestly speaking, right, the idea of chopping like your own wood for, for your own like fire is quite an interesting experience because you are really like stripping everything down to like the bare minimum, the basic basic. Kampong people use like wood and stuff like that. Maybe Captain America, like a couple, like the Hawkeye's eyes. I think it's the experience. Uh, the experience is it brings us away from the usual Singapore, like hustling Singapore. So it's a very good experience. It brings you back to nature and you know, we just enjoy whatever is around. Yeah, I think the coolest thing about Ubin is that you can build like large open fires, which you cannot normally do it anywhere else. But yeah, so it's quite cool because I mean you get to forage for your own firewood, and then you get to build and cook. In the great outdoors. I mean, you cannot possibly do this in like East Coast Park or like Fast Food Park. So I volunteered to cut the vegetables. Yay! <laughs> Look at the I'm excited, excited. The face. I'm so excited. <laughs> do you cook, Chris? Yes, I do. I am like the top FNS student in my school. <laughs> wow! I'm like a river that's overflowed. The sooner you know it, the less do we hurt. Let me speak the truth. Okay, so right now like the sun is setting, it's getting dark, we are losing our daylight and everybody is hustling, getting ready for our dinner, prepare for our dinner.
get over this. Okay, so right now the time it's about 24 now. Okay, okay I want to sleep ready. Close, close, close. <laughs> I honestly didn't expect us to like come back to Ubin and to like really experience it and you'd be surprised there's actually a lot of things to do and it's really not like what you imagined back then. Mm. It's just a really good getaway and you feel really calm, right? A break out of the yeah. busy, hectic schedule that you didn't really have. Yeah. Just sit back, relax. Here you hear waves, yeah. there you hear the yeah. party sound it's and crazy. constructions. Yeah. And at night you really just get to just tune out and just yeah. listen to nature and just really Especially wow. with the campfire in front yeah. of you. Yeah. Oh my god, the campfire experience. That's the best thing Amazing, ever. Amazing, man. So I, I feel like Kofula would be most of us. At, it, it, it's a childhood memory. Like yeah. you hang out with your friends and uh, most of us I think would, would like cycle around here, mm. go go to the high. Nice to know that there are like hidden places in Singapore that you can still go and explore and still have a fun time. Because, like there's a lot of things that you can do in every little place in, yeah. in Singapore itself. Just don't be afraid to get creative and try something new. Alright guys, that's all for today's Urban Explorers episode. So remember, adventure is out there waiting for you to explore it. So get out there, unplug and experience. Woo! Yes. Last but not least, if you like what you're seeing, don't forget to follow us and check us out for more adventures. Yes, that's it for today. Bye! Bye! Put some elbow into it, bro. Why is it the army? Yeah. Go back. Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Bye. I can go with my own. Bye. Way. Ciao. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>